Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about the lenses. Lenses are the transparent material which uh, makes the light to pass through them and the light will refract. See two spherical surfaces are attached as a single uh, optical medium like see mainly here we consider the thin lenses so basically the lenses are categorized into two types by convex lens and by concave lens and these lenses are used not only for uh, spectacle purposes if you consider uh, in cameras the lenses are used and for some reading purposes also the lenses are used and mainly these lenses are of uh, two types one is convex lens and another one is concave lens so basing on the concave and convex we can categorize the lenses and first one if you consider that this is by convex lens and this is convex and plane lens or we call it as plano convex lens let me write like that plano convex lens plano convex and next one convex and concave we call this as concave or convex so concave or convex by convex plano convex concave or convex and now if you consider for concave lens so this is the by concave lens and this is the plano convex concave plano concave and this is the concave surface and here this is the convex surface so we call this as convex or concave so these are the six different types of lenses basing upon the mainly they are categorized into two types that is biconvex and biconcave and here there are some terms related to these lenses so let us see the terms related to the lenses terminology related to thin lenses see here we consider only the thin lens so for the thin lens uh, here are the some terminologies center of curvature radius of curvature optical center principal focus and focal length so these are the terms related to the uh, lenses as we are considering here thin lenses so coming to the center of curvature so if you consider a convex lens or a concave lens if this is the biconvex lens so these lenses are a part of a sphere as they are part of a sphere if you consider as a sphere now yes here this sphere has a center so the center of this sphere is called as center of curvature center of the imaginary sphere see here actually there is no sphere we are imagining as a sphere 
so the center of the imaginary sphere is called as center of curvature c and if you consider for this this is also c center of the imaginary sphere is called as center of curvature and coming to the radius of curvature before going to radius of curvature here we have to consider the optical center so the midpoint or the middle point of the lens is called as optical center so if you consider the distance between this center of curvature and the optical center so that will be our radius of curvature this one and from here to here so radius of curvature so if you consider this as c1 this will be c2 then this will be r1 this will be r2 center of curvature and radius of curvature and coming to the principal focus see the convex lens will can be represented in this form and as we have discussed this is c1 and this is c2 and this will be r1 and this will be r2 if a ray parallel to principal axis if a ray is parallel to principal axis that ray after refraction it will pass through a point not only one ray if you consider the a beam of light traveling through the lens the rays all will pass through a common point so that point is called as principal focus principal focus and the distance between this optical center and the principal focus is called as focal length focal length and as we know that this is the main axis no middle line is the main axis and we call that the main axis as principal axis so these are the terms related to the or terminology related to the thin lenses center of curvature the uh, uh, the center point or the middle point of the imaginary sphere is called as center of curvature and radius of curvature the distance between optical center and the center of curvature is radius of curvature optical center is the middle point at the lens for a lens that is the middle point that is the optical center and principal focus uh, principal focus means if the rays parallel to principal axis they will uh, go through a point that point is called as principal focus and focal length the distance between the optical center and the principal focus is called as focal length so these are the terms related to the thin lenses uh, and we call this as a terminology of lenses related to thin lenses and coming to the rules for obtaining images formed by the lenses so to identify the uh, image formed by the lens so these are the rules we have to follow and before going to that Uh, there are two types of lens now one is convex lens and another one is concave lens convex lens is called as converging lens and concave lens is called as diverging lens and now let us see the rules coming to the first rule see this is the convex lens and this is the optical center uh, o or p and this is the principal axis and this will be our center of curvature and this will be our second center of curvature and a ray which is passing through the optical center if a ray is passing through this optical center that ray will go undeviated it won't deviate it will go straight and in the same way if you consider for a biconcave lens so this will be the optical center and this is the principal axis and this is c2 and this is c1 see here why uh, where we have to take c1 where we have to take c2 means see uh, these are the parts of the sphere imaginary spheres no uh, if a light ray is incidenting on this surface so this will be our first surface 
So as this is the first surface, sorry, this will become as C1 and this will become as C2. First the light ray will incident on the surface. So this will be C1. After that it will incident here. So this will be C2. In the same way, if you consider for this also, uh, if you if a light ray is incidenting like this, so this will be our first surface. Though it's, this, this will become C1 and this will become C2. So here also the rule will be same. A ray which is passing through the optical center will go undeviated. So it will go straight. No deviation will be take, taken place by that ray which is passing through the optical center. So this is the rule 1. And coming to the rule 2. And again, convex lens, optical center, principal axis, and this is C2, this is C1. A ray which is passing through the, or which is parallel to principal axis, after refraction, it will pass through focus. So as this is C1, this will be F1, and here we will have F2. Or you may consider like this, F2 to F2, F1 to F1, as a, this is the double the distance, here F1 is 10 centimeters means 2 F1 will be 20 centimeters, here also that, that will be same. And now let us consider the concave lens. Optical center, principal axis, this, as this is C1 and this is C2, a ray which is parallel to principal axis, after refraction, it will appears to pass through F1. So it appears to pass through F1. So this is rule 2. And coming to rule 3, rule 3, again, by convex lens, principal axis, and consider this as 2F2, this as F2, this as F1, and this as 2F1. A ray which is passing through the focus, after refraction, it will be parallel to principal axis, reverse of this case and coming with this uh, by concave lens, optical center principal axis C1 F1 or uh, take it as 2 F1 F2 2 F2. Here we can consider like this. A ray which appears to pass through focus, here it won't pass, but it appears to pass. After refraction, it will be parallel to principal axis. So this is rule 3. So these are the three rules for the lenses to obtain the image formed by the lens. Now let us see the image formation by the lenses. See for convex and concave lenses, see uh, as we have discussed it before, this is the <coughs> convex lens and first, at first instant I am considering that when object, object at infinity, <coughs> when the object at infinity, yes this is the optical center, this is the principal axis, as this is C2, and this is F2, sorry, F1, C1. Now, as we are saying, the object at infinity, so the rays will be coming from a far, far distance. So, simply we consider the straight rays which will be parallel to principal axis. So, first rule we can consider here. The rays which are parallel to principal axis after refraction through the lens, they will pass through the focus. The rays which are parallel to principal axis after refraction, they will pass through the focus. So this is our first case. 
and in this case the image formed is the coming to the characteristics of uh, image image is a real image inverted image image is real image inverted image and it is highly diminished see we can observe only a point image here so highly diminished and it is formed at it is formed at focus so these are the characteristics of image formed when the object is at infinity or infinite distance and now coming to second case when object at c2 when the object is at c2 so let us consider so this is the biconvex lens principal focus sorry principal axis c2 f2 optical center rho no f1 c1 and beyond sorry not exactly c2 let us consider first beyond c2 when object beyond c2 if the object is beyond c2 yes this is the object so two rays sir, we have to consider a ray parallel to principal axis will pass through focus will pass through focus and a ray which is passing through the focus after refraction it will be parallel to principal axis so these two rays are meeting here so obviously the image will form here so coming to the image the image is real image as it is real it will be inverted image and it will be a diminished image it will be a diminished image and it is formed between formed between f1 and c1 the image is formed between f1 and c1 this is c1 and this is f1 now so it is formed between c1 and f1 now coming to the third case when object at c2 so again convex lens optical center principal axis c2 f2 f1 c1 so object is at c2 so two rays first ray is parallel to principal axis it will pass through focus and should be at c1 when the object is at c2 the image should be at c1 and that means here the image is real image inverted image and here as it is at c2 the size of the image will be same size as object the size of the image will be same size as object and it formed it at it is forming at c1 object image can be seen at c1 when the object is at c2 image is at c1 and coming to the fourth case when object between c2 and f2 when the object is between c2 and f2 this is the convex by convex lens optical center row principal axis c2 f2 f1 c1 object is between c2 and f2 a ray which is parallel to principal axis will pass through focus a ray which is passing through the focus after refraction 
it will be parallel to principal axis and these two rays meet here so this is the image and here this image is also a real image inverted image and here in this case the image formed is enlarged image enlarged image is formed here and it is formed beyond c1 image is formed beyond c1 so these are the four cases now coming to the fifth one when object at f2 convex lens optical center principal axis c2 f2 f1 c1 now the object at f2 so ray parallel to principal axis will pass through f1 and a ray which is passing through the optical center will go undeviated that means these two rays will not meet each other so here we consider the image as real image inverted image and here the image formed will be enlarged image as the rays are not meeting each other the image formed is enlarged image and the image is formed at infinity at infinite distance the image may form so this is the characteristics of image when the object is placed at f2 and coming to the last case in convex lens when object between f2 and o by convex lens optical center c2 f2 f1 c1 now the image is very close to the lens so ray which is parallel to principal axis will pass through focus and a ray which is passing through the optical center will go undeviated so here also these rays are diverging apart now what we have to do is we have to extend these rays if you extend these rays these rays will meet at a point so at that point the image will form so when the object is nearer to the lens or in front of the lens the image will be so much bigger and only in this case as the object and image are at same side here the virtual image is formed image is virtual virtual means it will be erect and highly enlarged highly enlarged and that is formed at the same side same side of object wherever the object is at that same side only the image is also formed and for concave lens see when the object at infinity so this is the representation of concave lens v shape optical center principal axis and this will be c1 and this will be f1 and sorry f2 c2 when the object at infinity at when the object is at infinite distance we will consider the rays parallel to principal axis so the rays which are parallel to principal axis after refraction they appear to meet at focus so as this is a diverging lens the rays will diverge apart and in this case the image will be a virtual image virtual means it will be erect image and highly diminished image is formed highly diminished image is formed and the image is formed at 
F1. Divide is formed at F1. Now let us see the second case also. When object is in front of lens. In front of lens. So concave lens. Optical, sorry. Optical center, principal axis. And this will be our C1, F1, C2, sorry, F2, C2. See, when the object, anywhere we can place, in front of the lens we have set now. So when the object is in, at in front of the lens, the ray which is parallel to principal axis will pass or appears to pass through F1 and a ray which is passing through the optical center will go undeviated. So these two rays are meeting here. So the image is formed here and this image also will be a virtual image. As the image is virtual, it is a erect image and it is also a diminished image. Diminished image is formed and it is formed at in front of the lens only. In front of lens. Or we can take it between O and C. It will form between O and C or in front of the lens. So these are the cases uh, related to convex lens and concave lenses to identify the image. See, if you observe these all cases, when the object is coming closer to the lens, when the object is coming closer to the lens, we can observe the image position also. The image position is going away from the lens, other, other side of the lens. Is it or not? Yes. So these are the concave and convex lens situations when the object is placed at different places in front of the lens or far away from the